This is going to be hilarious. Hello everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back to the Retro Rebuild Workshop. Two seconds. <sighs> Tea and coffee. It's the only vase I've got left since I stopped sniffing glue. It's time. It's time for the first wash in over 30 years. I'm going to start with brushing my teeth. Just kidding, not me. The Viva's first wash in over 30 years. The Viva's first wash in over 30 years. Picture if you will. First job is to put the radiator bracket back on. I took it off because I went and got some paint matched, some mixed up from uh, Madge Paints in Sunderland. And I took the, the radiator bracket, I shouldn't have like, because I took this off and I tried it up against nearly every panel of the car. And this thing is 50 shades of yellow. I mean, as you can imagine, the paintwork's worn and everything like that. So I took this, and obviously this has spent its lifetime underneath the bonnet. But the guy matched it perfectly to this thing. Like, I've already, I don't know if you can tell. Them runs on off me, by the way. They were already on the car. But I painted it a little bit at the top here. Not here. This one here. In between there, and the colour is pretty much perfect. But obviously the bodywork on this is very worn. So what I'm going to do today is wash it. G3 it, I've got some G3 and see how much I can bring the colour up and see how much it matches to it. It doesn't have to be perfect but what I should have done was got the boot as clean as I could and then took the boot along to him to get a colour match, which I might do. I might do, well let's see, I'll do the repairs, I'll spray it with this and uh, we'll see how we get on. Yeah but the match to this is absolutely mint, but this has spent its lifetime under the bonnet so it probably hasn't been weathered much here, I mean that yellow is different than that yellow. Different other parts of the yellow, like I said, 50 shades of yellow all over the car, but let's, let's give it a go. What I'm going to do is give the car a clean G3, bring it up, and then chances are I'm going to have a go at repainting the rear valance, the booty bit on the car, and uh, see how it comes out. Let's have a go. Come along, won't you? I'm using the toothbrush here to clean out the moss and the crud and stuff out the rubber trims and the lights in the car. If you're wondering what the hell's he wearing, what's that jacket he's wearing, it was a gift from my brother for Christmas. He asked what I'd like for Christmas. I said I'd like a waterproof jacket for when I'm working on the car on the driveway when it's raining. Clearly he misheard us and thought I said I'd like a jacket for when I go duck hunting. <laughs> Just kidding, Michael, toasty warm. Giving her a good scrubbly doubly and of course, started raining. But we shall not be stopped. Right, that's a car washed. Now for the G3 stuff. Applicate and waffle. I've got crumpets. Will they do? <laughs> I've got a waffle pad somewhere. Yeah, I'll use an old rag. I don't know if you can see in this light, but I've G3'd this bit, half of the boot. There's the other half. I can't see anything from your phone. So uh, this is washed, G3'd, and it's G3'd along here as well. But I've also run a few strokes with a spray can up and down there as you can tell I went over the bits that I peeled off but up this line and back down I went over with one of the rattle cans and uh, it looks like a pretty good match to me like I mean a one-eyed guy on a galloping horse wouldn't be able to tell the difference into another day let's carry on G3 now let's get the bodywork finished round the boot round the, round the gully bit Let's sand down the rear valance. We'll take the reverse light out and get all that prep for primer and hopefully get a bit of colour on it a day. Back her in the garage and spray the rear valance and the boot gutter and hopefully. There's a rip in the cover there, by the way. I'm not uh, into Satanism anymore. Right, I don't know if you can tell, but that's just by hand and I've, uh, I've polished all up with G3 and it's not I've come up lovely and bright some of the paintwork. The driver's door is pretty stained, like it's taking some elbow grease to get the stains out of there, but a lot of, it are coming, a lot of it's coming out. Sh 
shall I do one of them bougie cinematic things with the crappy music in the background? You know the ones. No wonder this one wasn't working, it took a bit of a hit there, so it bevels in there, so even though I'm going to bodywork it and paint it today, I'm not going to try and fill that out. Like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, I will bodywork it and paint it, but at a later date, I want to pull this panel out, I don't want to fill it up. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a bit of a curve in it there. I'm just going to leave that hanging, shouldn't get in the way too bad, I don't want to cut the connector. Right, I started giving the rear valance the sand down, get rid of the, all the rust, the corrosion bits in it. And I'm not going to do the gully bit today. I've went around a few bits and re-fiberglassed some of them. So by the time that's dried and I've got to get a filler over the top of it. And I've realised I've only got etch primer. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not going to Google it to try and look clever, but you cannot paint over the top of etch primer, can you? Or can you? I mean, they go etch primer, which bites into the metal. Then like your high build primer, your standard primer, and then your paint. Is that right? Anyway, let's get this valance done. Plus, we're not going crazy on bodywork yet. I'm just going to do this bit, get the reverse lights in, and then she's going for a run soon. So, to get the reverse lights in, we'll paint this bit. We'll have the gully so no water's getting into the car. Then we'll go for a run. Not a day. <laughs> right, I etch primer the little bits that were bare metal. Left it for a bit, and then I'm going to work for it normal primer and I'm going to give that a key left it for a little bit you should leave it like over 24 hours and then give it a little bit of a key and really I could do with a little bit of filler in one of the parts over there but no one's tuning in to learn anything they come in here and have a laugh have a cup of tea have a biscuit sit down and be entertained for 10 15 minutes or whatever it is I was born from this my dad used to hand paint cars outside with a brush in the dark and here I am rattle can a car in a garage I've made it pops, I've made it. <laughs> Look at what I've had to do just so I can get the car in the garage a little bit to paint it. I've had to push all this stuff to the back. Is there any other YouTuber that struggles as much as this? <laughs> Keep watching this channel and I guarantee I'll respray an entire car with a 24 litre compressor in the garage this size. <laughs> before I push the car back in the garage, before I go any further, thank you very much to Alan Booth. Booth? I can't even see it to you. Alan Booth. Sending me these uh, Stanley Imperial Spanners. Absolutely spot on, mate. Thank you very much. You never have too many spanners. Everyone ready? This is going to be hilarious. To anyone who thinks this is silly, not this is bordering on genius <laughs> ow right let's spray the real balance The key is in the prep, and I didn't spend long prepping at all. <laughs> I can see like a bubble there that I missed, like a bit of like a blistering on the paint. It wasn't rust, I must have got primer over it, but I missed it anyway. But uh, there was a few deep scratches and that really, I should have like high build primered it. I should have primered the whole valance really, rubbed it down. But like I say, I'm not going for perfection, this is just all in good fun. 
But I don't know if that like maybe that's like too much like the original colour. We'll see how <laughs> how chalk and cheese it is when uh, I push it outside in about an hour's time. Uh, but the parts with the metals like flat and that and rubbed down well looks looks really nice. Looks like a really nice coat on it. But like I say, there's some deep some scratches in that and where I should really should have like built it up with primer, even a little bit of filler here and there. But anyway, this is getting redone eventually anyway because I want to pull that little dent out. You could spend forever rubbing the car down, like prepping the car for paint. Well, they do. You get a really nice finish. Oh, and then people when they have to lock it. Yeah. Right, she is outside. Let's take off the plastic and see how she looks. Did any Vivas come with mud flaps? And one of mine completely perished, like the rubber disintegrated and fell off, so there's only three left on. So they're coming off. I do have another set. But did Vivas come with them? Was it an optional extra at the dealership or something? Or did any sort of model of Vivas come with them? Can I repeat myself anymore? <laughs> It's a rush job and it's far from perfect, like I've said. You can probably see it here. I could just do shots of the corners when the light's hitting it, when it's all nice and glossy and looks mint. But do them shots and think, oh wow, look at me. Oh no, I'm amazing, first time got it right. Nah, it's not perfect, but uh, I like it, it looks good. <laughs> there was a lot of rust in that area and rust converter and it was very black, it looks nice. <laughs> I mean, I, like, I love the survival look, but it looks, looks lovely painted up. Imagine if I took me time. <laughs> yeah, if you're doing it, make sure you leave 24 hours there uh, with the base coat for uh, the primer. <laughs> time will tell if uh, it reacts, the fact that I didn't leave it, see if any of the paint reacts, see if anything happens, see the chemical I used on it to clean it. But for now, oh, let's chuck the number plate on it. I know the paint's still soft, but I'll be very gentle and put the number plate on it. And uh, let's do it before and after. Hopefully that entertained you for 14 or 15 minutes, thereabouts. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Keep on keeping on. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Sorry if I didn't mean to keep pointing at you. Behind your frozen eyes, skies are hidden laughter. Make me feel just one more thing than I. And even though that I despise the thing you're after, realize you're something more than I. And it's alright.